Often overlooked is a list of parameters for the preview monitor, particularly for zooming in and out. I'm using Magic's Movie Studio Suite 2023, but this applies to the older Movie Edit Pro, recently renamed to Movie Studio, and Video Pro X. The preview monitor is where we see whatever is on the timeline. In Movie Studio, this doubles as a source monitor to show a preview from the media pool. VPX has a second monitor for use as the source monitor. The window where we see the material, a video clip or a photo, has the size and shape given in the project settings. If the size of the project is set to 1920 by 1080, which gives a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, then the preview monitor window takes this size and shape. An image that is 1920 by 1080 will fill the window. An image that is not that size but has the same proportions will also fill the window. However, an image that has different proportions will fill only the height or width, whichever comes first. Thus, a video filmed in portrait mode would likely have 9 to 16 proportion, would fill the height of the window, but not the width, leaving black bars on either side of the image. Whatever is inside the window will be what is seen if we export to a video file like MP4 using the same parameters as the project settings, for example, 16 to 9, 1920 by 1080. We see the full screen 169 window, even if there's only a small image on it. Now, this window can be moved around and resized. In the hamburger menu at the top left of the preview monitor, we see some commands zoom in, zoom out, and move. Note the shortcuts as these will be very useful. These zoom in and out of the preview monitor not to be confused with zooming in and out of an image. And you can move the viewing window around. Below that are some percentages. 100% is normal. 400% zooms way in on the window, making it four times larger. This is zooming in on the window, not zooming in on the object like the size position rotation effects. This only affects the preview monitor window. Back to 100% and now to 50%. We see the preview window with a lot of space around it. We've zoomed out the preview monitor window, not the object in the window. Now I'll reset this to 100% by holding down Control and double-clicking with the left mouse button. We're back to normal. Here are two uses. One, to be able to zoom in without creating a zoom effect. Say, if you want to see some detail in the image up close, maybe to read some text that's in the image, or to select a color or pin an object to a particular location. The second one is to be able to see the outline of an image that moves outside of the preview window, say, to have it fly in or fly out. For the first case, to zoom in the window to see something up close, I'll select 400%. To move the window around, Hold down the control key and pan by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the window. Now I can see the dog up close. This does not affect the actual zoom, so if I export this, I'll get what is in the full 1920 by 1080 window, not this zoomed in image. Of course, I should always get back to 100% to be able to see what's actually in the full window. For the second case, I'll set the window back to the center by resetting to 100% and then select 50%. With my video clip selected on the timeline, I'll go to the View Animation Effect, Size Position Rotation, click on Apply Effect, and we see the outline and the handles of the video clip in the window. I'll drag the clip to the left. Part of the image disappears. Why? Because the video clip is on the other side of the wall, and I moved the video clip to the left, thus hiding part of it. However, we still see the outline of the clip. So, if you want to have your video clip or photo fly in from off-screen, you can zoom out the window in the preview monitor and move the clip completely outside of the window using the size position rotation effect. You can see where you've moved the image to and you can modify it, whereas with the preview monitor at 100%, you can't see where the object is and you're flying blind. 
I'll zoom out the image itself by resizing the box and adjusting the location. Set a keyframe, move along the timeline, and drag the image back into the window and another keyframe will be set. Move along the timeline and set the image to movie size and centered. I'll deselect the video clip and play it back. We see the small video clip fly into the window from off screen and go to full screen. And here it is with the preview monitor at 100%. Back at 50%, I'll select the clip again and under Size Position Rotation Effects, I'll remove the Size Position effect. Now I'll zoom in on the image, not the preview monitor, by dragging an edge handle outwards since we have access to the handles outside of the normal preview window. We see the image size change within the window and we see the outline of the original image outside of the window. If I reset the preview monitor to 100%, we see exactly the same thing in the window. Thus, zooming out in the preview monitor helps you see where you've placed the image when it's not entirely within the window. Got it? Back to the menu and we see that for zooming in and zooming out, we have to hold down control and use the mouse wheel. Just remember to deselect the object. At any time, you can quickly zoom in or out of the preview monitor without affecting the material on the timeline. Remember to always get back to 100% by holding down control and double clicking. Here's another example with text flying in from off screen. I have the video on track 1 and I'll add a title. I want the title to fly in from off screen so I'll use the size position effect to do that but by dragging the title box with a mouse. I'll push it off to the upper side of the screen now I've lost it. I'll zoom out of the preview window. There it is. I'll move it a bit more and create a keyframe. I'll move along the timeline with the size position still selected. I'll drag the text onto the center of the window. Playing it back, we can see the text box moving in from off screen to on screen. Once again, with a preview monitor at 100%. Wonderful. Try this out in practice. Remember that the shortcuts use control and a mouse. It's that simple. And don't forget that you zoomed in or out of the preview monitor when you want to continue editing. Reset the monitor to 100%. Control, click, click. Thank you for watching. Till next time, enjoy.